By virtually every metric, 25-year-old Bobby Levine is a healthy guy. He's been an athlete his whole life, excelling in baseball, softball, golf, and wrestling. But 10 years ago, before one of his high school wrestling matches, he noticed something was wrong. I became nonstop thirsty, and uh, I had to run to the restroom every 20 to 30 minutes. He says he began to drop weight quickly, despite no diet changes, and was constantly battling insatiable thirst. It's no, it was horrible. I would wake up in the middle of the night and I couldn't breathe because I had this, like such severe cases of cotton mouth. His mom took him to the doctor, where they diagnosed him with type 1 diabetes, an autoimmune disease that limits pancreatic function. If you don't have a working pancreas, your body doesn't produce insulin. Insulin are keys to the doors to unlock your arms, your legs, to use that as energy. If you don't have insulin, the door is locked and the carbs can't go anywhere. Untreated, type 1 diabetes can lead to loss of limbs, even death. That's why every day for the past 10 years, Bobby has to do this. This insulin is a lifeline for Bobby, but getting access to it can be difficult for some, putting their lives in danger. That's why Representative Gail Manning is trying to pass a bill that makes getting your hands on insulin a lot easier. One of the things we're finding out are a lot of the people aren't going in a situation where their physician hasn't renewed it, they need it today, you know, they can't wait a week, that they can get the drug, um, insulin, right away, or any uh, drugs that are, uh, are something that you need to live, and um, that the I think if they know that they're going to have the insurance is going to cover it, they're more inclined to be able to go to the pharmacist and said, hey, look, I need to get this. And so hopefully the pharmacists are, are more inclined to, to reach out to the patients and say, you need to get this. She says the bill was inspired by one of her constituents who had insurance, but due to miscommunication was unable to get his prescription filled. It ended up costing him his life. She wants to make sure that that never happens again. Sometimes you forget. Sometimes it's overwhelming when you go in to talk to a family physician and you just don't remember what you need, the knowledge that you need to continue taking this drug that you can't cut back on it. Getting insulin isn't the only hurdle for type 1 diabetics. Paying for it is too. Bobby says he's covered through his producing job here at Spectrum News 1. Luckily, I do have insurance. I've always had insurance. But that insurance doesn't go as far as it used to. Back in 2018, Bobby was prescribed Levomir, a long-lasting insulin. A four-month supply cost $370 with insurance. The next month, January of 2019, he got a call from the insulin distributor asking if they could run his credit card. They would only run a credit card if it's over $500. So I asked them, how much is my insulin costing? They said $2,000. For the same insulin I got the month before, because the government made Levomir unapproved. Now, Bobby tries to make the best of his situation, knowing he's fighting an uphill battle. Big Pharma loves to make their money, and unfortunately, it's put the type one diabetic community in a, in a bind. Uh, there are definitely a lot of groups out there uh, that are quote unquote buyer clubs, where they take trips up to Canada and they can get a year's worth of insulin from Canada because you don't need a prescription up there. You can let you go to any pharmacy, ask for this, these, this, these types of drugs, these types of insulins, and they can get it pennies on the dollar up there compared to here in America. For now, he's taking the bitter with the sweet. It's a little bit of a pain, but that's how life is. I look at this disease as I'm grateful for, for having it. It makes me who I am, it makes me different. Um, I wouldn't wish this disease on any of my worst enemies. You can mute me. Molly Martinez, Spectrum News.